the average monthly formal job creation has been falling consistently with every successive EPFO payroll release, which is the only gauge to measure formal job creation in India. From October 2018 to April 2019, every release of EPFO is showing a dip in average monthly job creation. Only November 2018 release is an exception which showed marginal increase of 1,262 jobs on average. India's silver jewellery exports nosedived 75% to 838 million dollars in the financial year 2018-19 from nearly 3.4 billion dollars in financial year 2017-18. The sharp fall is seen on account of Nirav Modi and Mehul Choksi's exit from the Indian market. The uncle-nephew duo fled the country in early 2018 after allegedly cheating the Punjab National Bank to the tune of Rs 14,000 crore. TikTok, the new short-form video app, is in the midst of controversy in India after Madras High Court asked the centre to ban the app for encouraging pornography. Apple and Google have already blocked the download of the app from Play Store and App Store respectively. However, banning or blocking of the apps like TikTok or PUBG is a futile exercise in the 21st century. People will always find a way to get around the ban. Rajasthan Congress Chief Sachin Pilot Monday targeted Narendra Modi, alleging the Prime Minister has done nothing for the poor, the farmers, the youth, the unemployed and on women's security. If someone asks him about the development of the country, he starts talking about issues of Hindustan, Pakistan, Hindu, Muslim. This election is for Rosie Roti and for saving the country, Pilot said during an election rally in support of Congress nominee Riju Junjunwala. Sri Lanka said on Monday it was invoking emergency powers in the aftermath of devastating bomb attacks on hotels and churches blamed on militants with foreign links which killed 290 people and wounded nearly 500. China's Huawei Technologies launched on Monday what it said was the world's first 5G communications hardware for the automotive industry in a sign of its growing ambitions to become a key supplier to the sector for self-driving technology. <laughs>